This week, I was curious how much rendering performance I was losing by using Go instead of C++ for 2D rendering. Because Go calls the OpenGL libraries through CGO, there is a minor penalty for each CGO call. There are also concerns with Go being a garbage collected language, but the performance hit there seems to be very dependent on the code base. For now, I was mostly interested in the performance penalty of CGO, and thus I began my very unscientific journey to find the answer. I was also inspired by the bunny mark benchmark that most other 2D libraries seem to have, so I figured a good comparison would be to do something like that. To start out, I wrote an implementation in both Go and C++. Notably, I wasn't really trying to make it fast, I was trying to measure CGO performance, so I decided to make an OpenGL draw call for every gopher. I wrote a quick script to increment the number of gophers from 1000 to 10,000 and then once more from 10,000 to 100,000. I was able to build and run these on Linux fairly easily, but it seemed important to test this on Windows as well, so I downloaded Visual Studio because that was the only way I knew how to get a C++ compiler in Windows. After going through what felt like an eternity of menus and pop-ups, I was finally able to compile an exe. Surprisingly, my bash script which incremented the number of gophers worked in Windows, so that was pretty nice. Now that I had collected my frame time benchmark data, I decided to remove the first 100 frames because there seemed to be some sort of warm up period that is needed before the frames became stable. So I took the average of the last 9,900 frame times and plotted that in the graph you see here. As you might notice, C++ is much faster at the higher end. I'm going to attribute all of that to CGO performance penalty, even though there may be other factors which make Go slower. I decided to create a new metric, gophers per second, which is the most clever I've been throughout this whole experience. In the Linux version of the 100,000 gopher test, the gophers per second, also known as GPS, is about 3,400,000 in Go and 4,300,000 in C++. Needless to say, I was disappointed. Surely my favorite language couldn't be 78% as fast at producing gopher sprites on a screen. I decided to search for a benchmark which was a little more forgiving to Go. I thought, well, in the real world, people don't render every sprite with its own draw call, so after some research into the topic, I decided to write a batch renderer which would batch my gophers into a single CGO OpenGL draw call. I also decided that I'd compare myself to the peak of rendering performance, Raylib. As my benchmarks ran, I sat there pondering my existence. Have I really just wasted a week with nothing to show for myself? I didn't expect to defeat Raylib, but I was determined to try. After the dust had settled though, victory was mine. My OpenGL code was built for one thing and one thing only, drawing gophers. Maxing out at 10,700,000 gophers per second, I was pretty impressed with myself. Raylib came in at 8,400,000, which is also very impressive, considering that Raylib supports many more features than my little gopher mark. If I ported my batch gopher mark code to C++, I'm sure that I could hit higher peaks, but I think I'm content to know that if I reduce my CGO calls to a reasonable number, then the CGO performance hit isn't that bad.